games, coach? Well, I think uh, one game was uh, poor performance. Uh, team that was not organized and, and uh, in, in the way of playing it was poor and we didn't look like we were ready. Yeah. Um, and another match that was well organized in terms of keeping the team shape, not allowing the opponents to play, not giving them too much space, which we did it with uh, a very good understanding. Um, communication was there. We were ready at the, the, every given moment, and as a result of that, the opponents found it difficult to, to function very, very well. We pursued them, and then we had our chances. And we wow, so you played two games using almost two different sets, having made five changes to the team that lost to Mali 3-0. Um, so I'm sure that the purpose of coming to Turkey has been well achieved. Of course. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy at least to have an idea of the players, what one can do and what one can do. And of course, uh, which positions the players will play and be effective in that sense. And also, uh, the system of play. And so, it's, it's giving me a clear uh, idea of what to, to do in the coming future, in the near future. And, 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 and it's, a, it's a very good one, a very good exercise for us. I'm sure you wouldn't want to single out any individual for praises, but I mean, especially against Qatar, Tariq Fosu, Samuel Usu, uh, Benson Anan, Thomas Partey, Baba Idrisu, almost the entire team were <laughs> exceptional. We, we function. I mean, yeah. that is the word I want to use. We all function as to what to do at, a very, at every given time. You know, um, compared to the uh, first game that we played, we didn't do well in, in that in that sense. We were not organized. We didn't present ourselves as a team that has, you know. But again, uh, you can understand. One can understand, or I can understand in that sense. Uh, I'm not saying you should understand me. I can understand because one that was our first game, and of course, people don't know uh, each other as to how to move communication. And then of course, we address these issues in a very serious manner. And, and and they took that in good faith and uh, presented themselves very well in the next match. Showed good attitude in terms of the way we play and the way, and the way, and the way one work for each other. Uh, and that was what I, I wanted. I'm sure you are a relieved man. Yeah. No. I mean, for me, it was an exercise. You know, exercise. This is my first uh, chance to be with the team. Since uh, I got a job because of COVID, we're not able to, to meet. Um, it's been a, a frustrating moment for me, but again, I'm grateful to the FA to have organized this uh, side for us. Uh, it was very, very important uh, going forward. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a very good exercise for us. It's, it's giving us the idea what we should do and what we shouldn't do and what can be done. Well, within the next two or three weeks, there is another game. Um, having seen these couple of players, those who couldn't make it to the camp um, to partake in this exercise, the likes of John Enchi, Lumo Agbanyenu, um, Richard Ofori, and then Kudus Mohammed. Yeah. It, must, it must be tough for you around this time trying to think of the next set of players for our qualifier. Well, it is tough enough to, to get them on board and for... I mean, everybody has shown this talent, what they can do, what they can end. Uh, most probably, if we have around 40 players in our data, it means that when we are going uh, in the match and we know what the opponent can do, we look at the qualities we have and what can be effective for us, what can be efficient at the end of the day, and, and make a collapse. But of course, uh, those names you may mention of were not here, and I believe that if, if some of them will, will join us. Okay, so from now until the next game against Sudan, what will the technical team and their good self be doing? Well, I will have the chance to watch uh, some games um, with our current squad, and of course, uh, my assistant will also have his role to play in terms of uh, our local guys. I hope. I don't know when the league is starting, but uh, 
13th November. 13th November, I say again, a bit late, you know, and so we are, we are thinking as to what, what, what to do. But I, I, I believe that by the day we assembled the whole part, we would have uh, you know, done, done a good job in terms of uh, bringing the personnel on board. Let's, let's talk about your technical team. You are the head coach, Duncan is the assistant, Najao Wisa is the goalkeeper's trainer, um, and, and the entire backroom staff. Um, for you, on this one week trip to Turkey, and the, uh, the fact that you've worked with them closely for the first time since your appointment, what have you picked up? Do you think that this group of individuals uh, make a winning team? Of course, um, you know, like you rightly said, we don't know each other well until until here, and not only this has helped us playing, but it has also helped us knowing each other. What I want, what I don't want, what they want, what they don't want, and, and we always have a review. Even this morning, we had a review of yesterday's match, and uh, we disagree and agree. The ultimate is for us to, to be successful at the end of the day, and that is what we're working towards. Uh, we, we, we will continue to improve. Not only the players improved, we also improved in terms of preparation towards towards the match. And I think after the first loss, we, we reviewed it. We, we spoke a lot about things we didn't do right. And in the second game, we improved in that, and I think it helped all of us, and we're happy. We want to continue to improve in that area. We want to uh, discuss issues. When one is not you know, happy, it needs to be discussed. And, and, and then, you know, I don't think we we'll disagree and agree, but at the end of the day, we're working towards, towards a goal, and that is what is important. Finally, your predecessor played two games. You were then the assistant. I'm talking about the Afghan qualifiers. Your former boss played two games, um, beat South Africa, beat Sao Tome, and then you have taken over. You lost your first game, friendly, won your second game convincingly. Next month, you are going back to the AFCON qualifiers and against Sudan. Are you in any situation um, feeling any heat to be able to continue from where he left off? Of course, we want to continue from where he left off. Uh, fortunately for me, I was there uh, before he left and, and I'm continuing from where he left. Um, there's always heat, <laughs> whether a friendly match or not a friendly match. And that heat will always be there. I mean, we are made of, of, of that kind of uh, thing and, and uh, Ghana will not accept any blues and therefore uh, it's important for us work hard to always achieve uh, success. Uh, we've got to be alert when we, we do things. And I strongly believe that once the boys uh, come in numbers, you know, to find out that match, we will do our best to get a win. Thank you.